Hi guys! Today we're going to go over a real quick start to finish on how we turned this shuttle bus into the beautiful tiny home of our dreams. Uh, here's what it looked like when we first got it. It was a 21 passenger uh, shuttle bus, um, but it did have some rust in that door right there that opens and closes, you know, the bus type door. There's the rust. So we had to cut all of that out and start over. That was the first thing because we couldn't even really get into the bus. So we cut out all of that rust and we built a brand new box. And um, we still have to build a shelf right there for our step up, but for right now, um, we're calling it complete. And there's the door we put on it. And again, it was a 21 passenger shuttle bus. And so we ripped all of that out. And there's the shell. And then we put in the plywood flooring and framed in that back wall, which we thought we were going to keep. And then you'll find out later we didn't. There's the pretty pine wood we put up on that wall, which we're going to have to cut out in a minute. There, we're cutting it out. <laughs> that back part is a closet, which we decided to turn into a bathroom. And there's the metal exposed, which cut really, really easy with a sawzall. It really wasn't that big of a deal. We were thinking it was going to be. And then here's the ceiling. Our van came with some really horrible, horrible carpet on the ceiling. So we decided to rip it down. And again, we thought that was going to be a job, but it came up, I mean, like you see, so simple. And we exposed plywood underneath, which has a little bit of glue residue on it but just a tiny bit, it's not sticky. So we went ahead and just painted right over that. And you can see a little bit of the bumps, but it kind of gives it that popcorn ceiling kind of effect, which I didn't mind. So now here is flooring, like this peel and stick flooring that you put on like vinyl, vinyl flooring. We're going to use that on our walls to cover up the plain white. So you just peel it off and stick it right on. Now before we did this, we wiped down all of the walls with an alcohol base cleaner. And now we're coming back in with a nail gun and shooting in the corners just to be absolutely sure that it's going to stick. And I will say that in some places we did have to go in with a little bit bigger screw. Okay, here we are cutting out the holes for the water. I know this video is just like all over the place, but I wanted to make it quick and dirty. And so here you go. Now here is the kitchen cabinet, my favorite part of the entire bus build. We built this entire wraparound kitchen countertop using just one piece of plywood. And it's perfectly fitted so we can still open up the windows in the spring to get some fresh air. But this thing is amazing. And then here in the back, we opted not to build in cabinets, which I think we are gonna do this year. But for right now, we're using these plastic cheap ones. You can get them from Rose's Express for like 20 bucks. And then here is the kitchen cabinet, which is actually a bathroom sink because we needed it to be smaller than the traditional kitchen. Um, so that is working out really perfectly. And here is our cute little bathroom. We have a teeny tiny little sink right here and a toilet. And uh, right there is the exhaust pipe that goes up out of the black water tank and I painted it brown to match the walls. And the walls are just um, paneling. You can buy it in the cardboard box from Lowe's. It's really, really thin, real wood, but you just pop it in with a nail gun. It's super quick. And this is the bathroom door that is a closet unless you're using the bathroom and then it closes to become the bathroom door. That was probably the hardest part of the whole build was getting that custom door the right size. And there's the closet that's behind it. We were gonna go with a shower, but we decided we needed more storage space. And here's a quick glance of that white ceiling all finished and the kitchen and the futon bed. Now here is um, where the seats hooked in to the bus. And we decided to leave that channel in there because now we can use it to hook in things like our futon bed so they don't move but it was really ugly. So I went back in and painted it black. And now here's the kitchen cabinet or the kitchen sink. I mean, y'all I'm doing this in one take, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> y'all follow along. Y'all know we are, <laughs> we are not professional people. <laughs> there's the futon bed and it's pulled out like that. It shows how much space we have. 
And here I painted that part yellow because the green that was in the previous clip was ugly, so ugly. And here is our PEX, uh, which we ran all of our water using a PEX line so that it's, you know, we don't have to worry about it freezing in the winter. And our beautiful faucet. And we did a dual black water tank and we go into pretty serious depth on how we go about installing this. If you go to our channel, you can find that video if you're interested. Um, but we did have to custom cut out the black water tank to make it fit. And there is the black water clean out and it hooks in really well right underneath the edge of the bus. And we give the dimensions in that original video, but it fits in absolutely perfectly as if this bus was made for that black water tank. Okay, now we had to have a seat for me for when we're driving. So we cleared out a spot and that's where my seat is gonna go. And Randy hooked in the first part of the seat belt right there, you can see. And we just took one of the seats that actually came in the bus so it would match his driver's seat. And Randy's taking off the original hardware that it came with and putting in a swivel seat that we can now bolt down through the floor into the base of the bus. And there it is, all swivelly and beautiful. And that black pole that you see that's between my seat and his, that actually holds the second half of my seat belt. And that sucker is bolted all the way through. Everything is bolted down really good so that in the event of a, of a wreck, it's probably actually better than if it had been built factory because my husband, he does everything bigger and better than it needs to be. And here's some of the prettiness. These are our cabinets. We have three doors for me, three for Randy, and then one for blankets and sweaters and towels, whatever the season is. Um, and then we just wrapped a wooden shelf across the top and down the two sides because that way we can put heavy things up there and these little cheapo plastic cabinets won't break. And here are the new lights we put in. There's three on either side. They're LED, they're 12 volt. Um, and they work with a battery system in the back of the bus. So they run whether we're on shore power or not. And some of the decorative stuff we've put in. Now right here, this actually, this, this step right here covers up the wheel well right there. And I think I'm gonna show you a clip in a second as if I haven't edited this video. <laughs> you would think I've never seen this video before. Um, I forgot to include it earlier in the thing. So right here, there we go. That's the, um, the step up, how we built it around that wheel well. And now we're back in the bathroom because we have included a new cabinet, which has a little hook and eye latch on it. It's um, so it doesn't open while we're driving and this cute little mirror and I put a little basket there so we can put the hand soap and you know a few things when we're driving so we don't have to put everything away. And um, I think it turned out really cute, very cozy. And then here's that closet across from it, which is also now our electrical system. So down there on the bottom are the battery banks and that um, shelf that's above it actually closes flush with the door when the door is closed so nothing can fall down on those batteries when we're driving to keep it plenty safe. And then here up at the top is our whole electrical system with our um, inverter and our 12 volt plugs and the whole nine yards. And like I said, we have videos that go into this in, you know, in depth if you'd like to go look at those on our channel. And then we're just finishing up, putting in the curtains. We decided to use a wire for the curtains. And that's just, I don't have a picture of the finished product, but there you go. There it is with the curtains, and that's the curtain that covers up the cab, so when we're somewhere public. And that is a quick and dirty view of our bus build. So we hope that you guys will follow along as we continue to travel in this bus. And of course, we're going to be doing plenty of upgrades in the future. So uh, subscribe if you haven't, like this video if you like our bus build, and uh, we'll see you again next week.